up, man? What's going on, dude? Well, I got to tell you, I went and saw Godzilla Minus One um, mm-hmm. a while, the, while the new trailer came out for uh, Godzilla Kong, the new Empire. Um, unfortunately, I well, fortunately, I got to see it uh, November 30th, an early screening. And unfortunately, you didn't get your chance to see it. No. But if you don't mind, we're going to do a, a one-man review real quick. I'm going to sell this movie to you and why you and others need to go see this movie. Is this a spoiler-free? Spoiler-free, absolutely spoiler-free. I. It would be a crime for me to spoil anything about this movie because there is a lot of good stuff about it. And uh, there was some jaw, jaw-dropping stuff where I was like, whoa, whoa, like. There was reactions in the theater, like, whoa, okay. you, th- people were reacting to it. So, real quick, Godzilla Minus One, let's explain the trailer, real, or the trailer, excuse me, the title real quick. I got that trailer on my mind. <laughs> the title, um, it take, this movie takes place post-World War II, actually during World War II and post-World War II. And uh, Japan was brought to zero. After the bombs and just pretty much what happened with with the war to Japan. I mean, Tokyo got obliterated. Uh, Hiroshima, Nagasaki both got the atomic bombs. And so it brought brought Japan to zero. Well, Godzilla showing up is to bring them to minus one. So a little little clever intake, a a little bit of history, which... One thing there is this movie has so much history in it. My dad is whispering to me during the movie, like a lot of history stuff. He goes, oh, this must be this. This must be that. And it was real interesting. It pulled me into the movie. Oh, no way. I'm not, I'm not giving anything away, but there's a moment where they have to get rid of the sea mines in the ocean that, you know, the Americans and everyone had planted. My dad's like, ah, oh, they must be. They must be using a wooden boat then because they were magnetized. And the next line is like, yeah, the boat's made of wood, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, holy cow. So cool. They got a lot of the history yeah, yeah. That's cool. into this. That's just one small example of it. And what was really cool is I feel like this movie succeeded where a lot of franchises like Halloween, Alien, Predator did a good job with Prey. A lot of these franchises that are trying to go back to their roots and they don't necessarily do it or don't succeed with it, this movie 100% succeeds with it. It's a it's a completely on its own story. It's a revamp, reboot, I guess you could call it. They kind of did okay. that with Shin Godzilla, but that was that was okay. That was a different take, but this one brings all the familiarity back to it and it's back to the roots. Like Godzilla, like 2014 Godzilla, I felt like it was sold like, okay, Godzilla's a bad guy. Like this is some shit when he comes to t- comes to town. And it didn't end up being that. It ended up being the mm. Mutos, and he's just the, he's the guy that equalizes the power, you know, in the world. And they're running with that right now. To where this one, this is not good. Every time this guy shows up, you're like, this is bad. Oh, this is getting bad. And then when you don't think it could get any worse, it gets worse. <laughs> oh, man. Terrifying. Easily. Easily the most terrifying Godzilla since the very first one. I mean, there are situations with this Godzilla that the characters do not. You, you haven't seen it before. And it's intense. It's real intense. And they got a lot of new stuff that's out there. And... Yeah, it's just real, it's real different. Hold on, Brandon, I got to switch something on real quick. (laughs) All right, my computer went dim, but anyway, so they, they bring some changes, but they are just updates or let me say it makes it better. But, uh, you know, like in the trailer, there's, there's no spoiler here when he's charging up his atomic breath and the dorsal plates start firing out, mm-hmm. you know, changes like that are intense. Um, the Japanese love destruction. Yeah, it's so, do. man, is it bad? I mean, whew, 
it's not good. And uh, one thing that this movie definitely nails, and I think why it's being called like such a good movie, are the human characters are awesome. Mm-hmm. They okay. cast this movie so perfect. There's some humor in it. There's even good humor. With, it's subtitled. I should start off with that. It is subtitled, but it, it's very easy to follow. Very easy to follow. Not over complicated, and it's just fun. This is uh, it's a very fun movie. It is an old school monster movie, nice. to where you're not oversaturated with Godzilla, and the human character is so good. You're not even necessarily waiting for him to show up. You're you could be engaged into the in the story, and uh, man, when he shows up, dude, it is it's unreal how terrifying. I've never. I haven't seen a Godzilla like this since the original Godzilla to where, uh, like, uh, well, the Americanized version with Raymond Burr, Gojira, I should say, yeah. it's a very dark movie. This is a very dark movie. Um, Pretty brutal. They really, what they really capture with it, dude, there's a lot of heartfelt moments in it to where they really go after the government in this one, too, to where... Um, you know, I'll just say in World War Two, the struggle of dying for your country honorably. You know, they wanted you to die. They want you to die. Kamikaze pilots. We know about this. Mm-hmm. This is history, and there's a big struggle with that. And I really think it really ties to the movie to where you start caring for the characters, their choices that they they need to make, and their consequences for the choices they make. So they do a real good job. And and one thing that is really cool how they structure this movie. I haven't seen a movie do this in years, but it's like an old movie. Remember that movie? Like it's a scene and then the scene ends and then it fades to black and then it comes out to a new, yeah, yeah. new area. They do it all through the movie. I lean to my brother. I'm like, man, this is like an, this is edited like an old school monster movie. And it was really cool. It's just something very subtle that maybe not a lot of people would notice, but, uh, it was well, it makes awesome. the difference too, right? That that sets a whole different uh, outlook on the movie. Yeah. So that's yeah, big pretty vibe. Sweet. It was a yeah. good vibe. That's cool. But yeah, honestly, I would. I told my brother, if I'm just going the Amer, like if I if I'm putting this movie, if I'm gonna rank this, I would probably put this as like number two behind the original, or, wow, or one A. Like okay. it's that okay. good. So, yeah. I've heard nothing but good things. There's and nothing. Yeah. I, I had all intentions on going to see it uh, mm-hmm. this week, past weekend. So, and uh, unfortunately, life, when we, we started talking about me and my son going to see it, it involved, well, my wife and daughter, well, we want to go see a movie. We'll just go see a one movie together. Like, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. And next thing you know, <laughs> I'm sitting in the damn theater seeing trolls. So <laughs> I was like, the fuck just happened, man? Yeah. Like, you know, so, are you uh, getting me right now? <laughs> yeah. The life of being so, a dad. Hey, it, it is what it is, but I have 100% intention to see it this week. So. Yeah. I have a feeling this movie will have late. There was actually a good amount of people. It was just us three in the theater at one point, and I was like, "Wow, there's not a lot of people here." But I'm like, "Ah, it's a Thursday night, you know, who's gonna come out?" There, there ended up being about sixty people just coming in. I was like, "Wow, there's a lot of people coming," Good. and Good. I have a feeling this movie's gonna have some legs, and I think it's gonna do amazing on stream. Like this is cool. gonna, yeah. But I cool. will say, it is released in IMAX too. I'm very disappointed I didn't see this in IMAX. Because mm-hmm. there's a few scenes where I, I would shit. I would like I, I would be like, yes. And I did see some like comments like this scene was awesome in IMAX. But uh Nice dude. Nice. It's awesome. There's a lot there's a few Easter eggs I, I don't want to spoil because when it yeah. happened I was like, Yeah like awesome and uh <laughs> That's cool. No, it was really cool. He is wild looking. Um there's there's some scenes like when he moves. I guess there was an interview back then. Like it, it makes it want it, he's such an abomination that he wants they wanted him to make look like he was in pain while he was walking. Like mm. there's some scenes where he's walking and and just the way like he moves like his back and everything. I'm like oh, 
God, dude, it's just <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, dude, he looks sinister. Nice. He, there are plenty of scenes where he is just absolutely sinister looking. Yeah, that's cool. I'm yeah, ready. I would, I would easily, for what it is, I would give it a eight. Eight point seven five, maybe a nine nice. out of ten. I full, nice. I full on enjoyed it. The Japanese did it awesome. So they got the dark I'm Godzilla. Good. The Americas are giving us the popcorn stuff, and I am okay with both. Yeah, you got the entertainment, and then you got the fear side. So let's do it up, man. I'm, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for all this. Yeah, I am heck ready. yeah. Well, you had you have it here first, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go see Godzilla minus one. Please it keep is. that. Yeah, Good. I'm very interested to see what's what's gonna follow. If the Japanese are gonna build off this one, or if they're just gonna try for a different take again. I hope I they run know. with it. I really do hope they run with it. It is definitely one of the coolest Godzilla designs I've ever seen. Like he mm. looks really cool. Um, back to basics, but a lot of different updates. So yeah, cool. Very Good. cool. The CGI. CGI was awesome. There were a couple parts where I was like, ooh, ooh. But I kind of expect that with a Japanese movie. You know, they're, they just, they don't have it like Hollywood does. Well, uh, early Hollywood, I guess. <laughs> I guess Hollywood yeah, yeah. 10 years ago, CGI, and not, you know, Hollywood now. But there's just <laughs> like two two scenes where I was like, huh. But after that, man, the movie is gorgeous. The cool. cinematography is so damn good. And uh, yeah, I'm going to, yeah, if we don't cut this now, I'm going to talk for another hour about this movie <laughs> and start right. spoiling it. But Godzilla minus one, that is going to be that is solid, absolutely solid. I don't have a ranking system like all the cool guys, but definitely mm-hmm. check that thing out in theaters. Cool. All right. Till next time, my friends. See you later. Bye.